it's gonna be Beautiful. nice today. What near? Well, it's supposed to get up to 60, right? I, I think so. Something around there. Mm-hmm. So, Brad and I are. It's Saturday. It's December 9th, and um, it is still morning. I don't even know what time it is. 9:30. 10 o'clock. Not even. I think it's after Night that, time. honey. I don't know. Hold on. 10.30. It's 10.30. Morning has gone away from me. <laughs> but Brad got up early and went and helped out a friend do some things. And I um, stayed home. And uh, now we're sitting out here around the campfire with my second cup of coffee. How many cups? It's your it's second? My second. That's yeah. it? Okay. All right. We're gonna have a really chill day today because I still do not feel well and I have no energy to do anything but sit around. <laughs> so. so what that translates into is she gets to have my attention all day long and be totally blessed by my presence. <laughs> you can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. You are a blessing. You've left me a lot this week when I've I have been feeling so totally crappy. And I don't feel he good had, about that. He <laughs> had a lot of work events that he had to go to. And and I feel like my like Ian and Lily were gone a lot too, so I was left alone a lot, which is fine. But, yeah. but now you have me for the rest of the weekend. Yeah. I'm probably going to bore you. Sit around, bore you. watch movies. Have no energy. Enjoy a campfire. Drink yep. some coffee. This is nice. It is. I brought my knitting out. I brought my advent shawl out to work on. I'm actually catching up. I don't have, I'm not on my ninth day of color, but I'm getting close. I'm probably halfway there. Yeah. So, okay. I'm just going to enjoy this warm temperature. Yep. It is now 2.20 in the afternoon and I just wanted to check in again. So Brad and I had a nice um, morning and early afternoon. We enjoyed our coffee by the fire this morning, as you would have already seen. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little snotty still. Um, and then we went into a, um, like a craft, handmade craft fair. Sorry, I had to pause and grab a cough drop because it seems that every time I start to talk, I have the urge to cough. <clears throat> so, we went to a um, handmade craft fair and it was it was a pretty big one. There were over 200 vendors there. I didn't I didn't really have anything specific I was looking for. We just went for kind of something low key to do. 
that didn't require a lot of energy expenditure and it was also like seven minutes from our house it was at a local high school so um yeah anyway we got Mitty a new bandana a Christmas bandana which I'm not sure how she feels about it but I think she looks cute in it and then there was this darling older woman there who was selling her cross stitch projects and I bought a couple things off of her and she was not charging very much at all for them um, but isn't this adorable I love I actually really enjoy cross stitching on like smaller scale when we get into like a big cross stitch like almost like a cross stitch painting that kind of thing that's very overwhelming to me but like smaller things like this I really enjoy doing but I just I knit so much that I don't really have a lot of time for cross stitching so I was really happy to buy this only charged $12 um, but this will be hanging up year-round in my house it's adorable and um, and then I bought myself she had little bookmarks there that she was selling for a dollar a piece I'm always in need of a bookmark I read multiple books at a time and I literally will be reading and then I'll be like oh I need to mark my spot and I have nothing to mark my spot with so I will just grab whatever random thing is laying nearby hair barrettes uh, pens like sometimes it'll be a piece of paper <laughs> but I thought this would be nice so I grabbed that and then she was selling a bunch of magnets for 50 cents a piece so I got this Christmas tree and these are just to have for like little gifts for people and then these are beautiful they remind me of a, like a quilt block so yeah I was really happy to support her and um, I we bought um, Brad a, got a new Christmas t-shirt which he actually just left to meet our oldest son Sergey to walk the dogs on a nearby trail so I don't know maybe maybe he'll show that to you later um, and then we bought one other thing but it's a gift for someone who I'm pretty sure watches my vlogmas episodes so I'm not gonna show that <clears throat> but it was really cute and um, yeah anyway <laughs> I'm feeling my throat, like the throat pain and ear pain is a lot better today. I actually was able to sleep without, well, like I, I would wake up in the middle of the night, but it wasn't, it wasn't like other nights where I was like, oh my gosh, my throat hurts really bad. I need to take more ibuprofen. I was able to not take any ibuprofen through the night. So that is me. That means the antibiotic is definitely helping. My tonsil does not look as enlarged as it did. Um, so yeah, now I just have all like this drainage, which is it's just wonderful. But, um, I was up quite a bit in, during the night coughing just because of the constant drainage gagging me. Um, isn't that lovely, right? <clears throat> so when Brad gets home from walking with Sergey, we're going to wrap some Christmas gifts because that just sounds like something cozy to do and it needs done. So we're going to do that. So it's gonna be a low key day, um, the rest of the day. Oh, I should tell you, I'm wearing my one of my one of my many ranunculi. This is um, the ranunculus I knit. I think I knit this over the summer, and it's in the Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. I forget the name. It's literally right on the tip of my tongue. Ah. It, it's like a charcoal color, but I know that mo a lot of people see it as blue on their screens. So it's one of those color shifting colors. But um, yeah, I'm wearing this. And I'm, I had knit this one. It looks shorter. Like when I stand up and put my arms down, it's, it's about bracelet length. So it's a nice length. And um, yeah, I really like this one. And it's warm because it is the uh, Knit Picks of the Andes but it's not like uh, because I think because I did the the sleeves shorter it's not where it makes me like so so hot that I can't stand it and then real quick I want to just talk to you guys a little bit about my advent project I am loving this euphorbia shawl this is a pattern by Amba O'Brien and I, I really feel like I could just sit there and knit on it all day except I find it hard to just sit all day but 
you know, not feeling well and having low energy has um, probably contributed to that. But so let me show you what I have. And this is knit tip to tip, like side to side. It's hard right now because it's definitely going to be one of the shawls that I'm going to need to block. I can I to, I could tell that from the very start um, because it has this like central decrease spine down the middle, and then I, it's an I cord edging. So it's going to need to be blocked and pulled out and everything. But I'm using my Brazos Fiberworks Advent Kit yarns to make to stripe this, and um, yeah, I'm really having a lot of fun with this. It's just it's bringing me a lot of joy. And I just saw another pattern today that I want to talk about, and I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Maybe like Christmas candy scarf or candy stripes scarf. It's by Judy of the Autumn Acorn. Um, I just saw it this morning on her Instagram account and I shared it on my stories. It's a crochet pattern. She's offering it free for the month of December. If I remember that correctly, I have to, I have to make it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I have to make this. It is so cute. It's a scarf. So I haven't made a scarf for years. You know, I, I just, I wear more shawls, but I'm like, this is so cute. It's designed for an advent calendar, but it's designed for a DK weight advent calendar. So what I'm going to do is I thought about holding the fingering weight double, like my mini skeins double with a solid color throughout, which I may do that. But then I also thought I could just, I have a lot of mini skeins um, that I've just accumulated over the years from knitting socks and people have sent me. I thought maybe I could just hold some of the mini skeins together and like ones that were complementary in color and just to stripe it that way. So, um, and it's crochet, so it's going to be fast and I feel like it's just going to be a really enjoyable project. I'm really happy and enjoying the scrappiness of this. So I think that it would be really fun to knit that one as well. So I'm going to conclude the talking portion because I'm running out of, like my, my throat's drying out really quickly right now. <clears throat> Thank you guys all so much in case I don't get back on here to talk today. Thank you so much for all your prayers and well wishes and just in your encouragement. I really appreciate it. It really literally helps lift my spirits and um, so many of you are sick as well. So, you know, I'm praying for health for you all in your family um, because it's, yeah, nobody likes to be sick. I mean, it's part of life, unfortunately, but <laughs> when it comes, it's like, ugh. but I wanted to, I really appreciated your well wishes. It meant a lot to me. So thank you. You guys are the best. You really are. All right. Well, I'm going to go sneak in a few more rounds or rows of my shawl before Brad gets home and we start our um, gift wrapping. I just stepped outside because it is, I don't know, maybe 6 p.m. I think it's, it's six yet. Yeah, it's a little after six, but it's still so nice out. It is like warm and I just love it. The air is so fresh. I love the Christmas lights. We put the Christmas lights up outside of our house several weeks ago. I think it was right before Thanksgiving or I don't know. We had a real, we had some really nice weather. So we went ahead and put them up then. Um, just because, you know, it's better to do it then than when you're freezing. So I just thought I'd come out and get a few few minutes of fresh air and enjoy the Christmas lights. <laughs> the camera off of you. I had to get my groove. 
Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Oh my gosh. It's an awesome Brad, night. Take it down. Look, what? No, don't be so. <laughs> Hi I'm guys. Sorry. Be yourself. Hello. I am being myself. I know. Sometimes. Did you miss me last night at your Christmas party? Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, I missed you last night. Boy, I look tired. We both look tired. It's because I think we are. We're so. Sun deprived and <laughs> we we lost our tans. I mean, well, I thought you were talking about our boys. I haven't seen my boys in a Well, we haven't seen <laughs> them either. No, I seen Serge today. We saw Sergey today. Ian's been gone all day. Ian, nope. Ian's gone a lot. Yeah. That's <sighs> what happens. Growing up. Yeah. What are you gonna do? We're getting old. They're getting old. I have a dog staring at me right now with her and head I on have my lap. One on me. Like, oh, that, you see? did you see the camera move? That's the other dog. Here, I'll flip it around. There Hold on know. a second. <laughs> <laughs> that means I want attention. Oh, mom, you're going to be, my mom just texted me. Are you doing a vlog today? It just came up on my screen. Yes, mom, I'm doing a vlog. <laughs> My mom's my biggest fan with my vlog. I thought I was. Do you watch them all the time? No. Then you're not my biggest <laughs> fan. <laughs> I I did I try to. My mom watches every one of them. I know. She's consistent. Yeah. I'm not very consistent. No. Well, Sorry. I figured I should show you more today because you're off work and I've had multiple people ask to see more of Brad. Oh. Um, that's I mean, I understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how Amber person. is feeling today. She needed more of bread. <laughs> yep. Did but she, I needed some. I don't know too. how many people would. I don't know that anybody would know this that doesn't personally know us. But Brad and I are high school sweethearts. Mm -hmm. He asked me to go out with him when I was fifteen, <laughs> and I told him no. She said no. I said I don't know you. I don't know you. Yeah. So I told him Seriously? no. Yeah. And then several months later, she gave you in. asked me again, and I said, okay. And it's all history. Yep. And now we've been married um, 23 and a half years. Yeah, married 23 and a half years. We've yeah. been together since 95. So. 1995, yeah. So what's that? 20, that'd be another that'd five years. 20, 28, so 28, 28 and a half years. 28 and a half. There you go. Those are some good years there. Yep. Wouldn't ha wouldn't change any of them. Nope. This dog is needy. So is this one. She's sitting here. <laughs> There's one needy dog. There's needy dog number two. Well, okay. If I if I sit on the couch, the black dog comes over and puts her head on my lap and just stares at me until I pet her. And then she, if I let go, like stop petting her. She just starts keeps bumping. She just keeps nudging me. She'll nudge me. She'll knock stuff out of my hands if I have something in my hands, like if my cell phone or a book is in my hands. She will literally like she'll get she'll put her nose underneath the book and just hit up on it until I give in and start scratching her head. Yep. Mm. So I feel mm, loved. We did not wrap gifts because I made dinner instead. <laughs> That's all the energy I had. I am appreciative. I made chili and homemade cornbread. Damn, it was really damn. good, I have to say. It was. It was. And but because I exerted all the energy making dinner, we did ended up not wrapping gifts. And it's only, I don't know, six thirty now and I literally just could go to bed. So do you think we should just put a movie on? I think we're just gonna put a movie on. And we're gonna sit here like this and we're gonna snuggle. I wanna knit. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, we'll snuggle part time and on the other the other. No, two. see, that's uh, like, hey, you want to sit in the couch? Nope, I gotta sit here. I have so a I chair with all, my knitting does. basket next to it. You want to see it? I'll flip her. See, it's that. It's this one right, right here. And my knitting basket is right there. And this little table has stuff on it for my knitting. All right, well, let's wrap this up so I can edit this and then we can put our movie on. Okay. Well, this is us wrapping it up. Until next time.
Have a great day. That was corny. You're very corny sometimes, honey. Okay. I can't help it. And I'm a picker. Yeah. I like to pick. Well, that could be a whole other uh, five minutes. So let's end this <laughs> right now. Um, and have a wonderful evening. Or if you're watching this in the morning, have a great day, guys. Bye. Pick and honor. Brad, it's